Welcome to the second annual Art and Feminism Wikipedia Editathon at the Museum of Modern Art. In 2010, there was a study that found that around 8.5% of Wikipedia editors were women. Other studies have shown that it's somewhere between 8 and 16%, um, so the numbers are quite low as far as female editors go. There's a lack of history in feminist art, in women artists, and in topics about gender and gender expression on Wikipedia. And we'd like to change that, so that's what we're working on today. So I'm just wondering what the threshold for, you know, Carmel Source in yeah, the I mean, media world is. Blogs are difficult. I'm here to help correct some of the gender imbalances among not only the articles that are presented in Wikipedia, but among the editors that are included in the effort. Uh, I am a professional writer and editor. I'm also a feminist, and I love art. So as soon as I heard about this, I knew it was something that I wanted to participate on, not only as an expert, but as a passionate supporter of the campaign. I have been talking about um, hip hop tourism here in New York City and how it evolved and where it started and you know who's part who are part of the legends and the historical icons in a place um, that's so relevant to the movement of hip hop. I think um, you know the social platform, the internet. There's so many things that are out there that I really don't know about, and I wanted to be able to learn how to use it the best way, the best practices, and you know maybe cut some hours of just trying to figure things out on my own. When you come to events like this, they tell you the shortcuts and they kind of explain it to you the right way. For a long time, I wanted to edit it, Wikipedia articles for my artist friends. I'm a Romanian artist and uh, it's a uh, women, Romanian artist, and the, it's an area which is totally, you know, unrepresented on the Wikipedia. So I always wanted to learn and I promised myself that I'll do and I kept an eye on it, so that's a great opportunity to really learn. I won't leave here till five o'clock. <laughs> it just never really seemed accessible uh, to edit um, Wikipedia pages. Um, and I also just didn't have the technical know-how to do it, so it was really good to get a little bit of uh, education on how to do that. Um, but then also just having the opportunity to kind of follow leads down rabbit holes uh, around women artists from lots of different periods and the interest of providing good references and maybe beefing up the, the Wikipedia text about them has just been really fun. I just started learning how to write my first Wikipedia article. I've only done edits so far, so I'm just taking that very frightening first step of actually creating an article from scratch. And how has it gone so far? <laughs> I mean, so far my computer hasn't burst into flames or anything, so that's good. <laughs> I like that I'm helping to educate basically everybody in the world at the same time, and I'm happy um, because it lets me develop the different languages I know. What really got me interested in this topic, in this project, is hearing a few years ago <clears throat> that a Wikipedia editor had tried to create a page for women authors, women writers, as distinct from writers, and he, he thought he was helping women by making them more visible, but he was ghettoizing them. He didn't, he didn't get that women that women who are writers are writers they're not women writers and men who are writers are rarely called men writers they're just writers so that's why i'm here i'm writing just one entry about this mexican artist so it's just to do one in english and in spanish because i'm mexican so it's also important to have information in both languages sometimes in Latin American countries or in other countries that don't speak English, you don't you don't get all the information, right? You only have access to the English ones, and if you don't speak English, then you don't have that information, even about your artists. We have events happening all over the world. Um, you know, at last count, I think we were at 75. But as always happens, um, we learn about more after the fact. Uh, but you know, that includes uh, in Paris. 
um, in Amsterdam, um, in Moscow, which we're really excited by. These events are very important. Um, it's just as important as when you were a child and you went to the library, that feeling that you got when you borrowed a book and you were able to read the book and take it home and you were excited and you couldn't wait to return it and borrow another book. These kind of events um, actually open a platform for you to, to open up your mind and say that, you know, we all have to work together and teach each other. Sometimes we think that someone else is going to do it, but if we wait until that person does it, it's going to be very slow. So we have to sometimes take things in our own hands and just do it. I think we have a chance with Wikipedia to sort of make the ideal encyclopedia.